So, Florida officially announced that Derek McKenzie is going to be the captain of the Florida Panthers. Um, and I see a lot of butt hurt right now on Twitter about McKenzie being named the captain. And a lot of people, again, wanted Ekblad. And here's the thing. Ekblad is going to be captain. I cannot reiterate that enough. He's going to be. But he's not it yet. McKenzie was the best choice for the position. Uh, he's got great leadership in the locker room and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people, again, are complaining uh, with this whole decision is they think because, you know, Ekblad's the future of the Panthers and they need to give it to a younger guy and stuff like that. But what people need to understand is just because you're a skilled player doesn't necessarily mean that you'd be a great leader, okay? I've been through many retail jobs um, in my career and I've seen some people that are absolutely phenomenal as workers you know excelled in their position and stuff like that but when they got to leadership well they sucked and then vice versa other people sucked in their position but were great leaders could get people to work and do the job and do it correctly and then, the, yeah, there is this rare occasion. There are occasions where you get someone that's a great leader and a great worker. So, no bash against Ekblad. You know, I, again, I, I think he can be a great leader. But at the moment, management, ownership group, and all this thought that McKenzie is the best choice to be the captain of the Florida Panthers. And again, it's not a bash against Ekblad at all. Ekblad got the A, as did Jokinen. So again, they do see Ekblad as a potential captain down the road. And again, a lot of people other a lot of people are saying, oh, well, why are we gonna give it to a fourth line guy that gets no minutes? Like he can't be on the ice. It's like you it's not like this guy sits in the locker room and then goes on the ice, then goes sits in the locker room. He's on the bench. He can still be a valuable leader. He can still talk to the guys, motivate them. That's what it, being captain is about, about, motivating a team, getting them, you know, when they're down, giving them that confidence that, hey, we can come back, let's do this. Let's team together. And that's what McKenzie has, guys. Let's just, just let's not overblow this. Let's enjoy this again. We finally have stability in, for this franchise. We have not had this in many years, if ever, in this franchise. We finally have players locked up for multiple years. Very good young core players locked up for multiple years. We have an ownership group that cares, that wants to win. Management team that's in place, that wants to win. Let's just enjoy this ride. You know, this is gonna be a fun, fun set of seasons for the Florida Panthers with possible multiple cup runs for us. Like, let's enjoy this, guys, all right? Let's not freak out about who has a C on their thing or not, all right? Season starts on Thursday, on uh, Thursday. You know, let's enjoy this. Let's see how this comes, you know? Again, uh, I'm gonna come up with another video, but you know, Huberto being injured, I'm gonna talk about that in another video, but you know, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough, but I think this team is going to get through it. But like I said, I'll talk about the Hubido injury in the next video. Again, thanks guys for watching. As always, like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and share if you love my content.